so part of the challenge of it, I'm the HS2 minister, yeah. so uh, it's, it's for me to deal with, is that it's going over budget, it's going over time, and as we look at it and some of the uh, travel patterns changing, we've just taken a view that £36 billion can be better spent across other northern cities, uh, reducing journey times, improving capacity and connections. And so we bring Hull into play, whereas it had been left out, we bring Bradford into play with a new station, which is something I've worked really hard on with the leader of Bradford City Council. So all of a sudden, those cities actually get a benefit. And look, I've scrutinised this project as well, because I used to chair the Transport Select Committee, and I looked at this project a lot. And it was certainly the case that Bradford felt that it had really missed out. And if you grow one area to the expense of another, um, Bradford being the youngest city, one of the youngest cities in the country, uh, then actually Bradford loses out. So under these changes, and not just for Bradford, for Sheffield, Leeds, Hull, York, and of course between Manchester and Liverpool, £12 billion spent on rail there. So it's about making sure that all the money that's saved from the north, from HS2, is actually being reinvested in the north, just more further across than just up and down. So what you're effectively saying is... We can't build this one bit of transport, but just trust us to build all these other bits instead. Well, a very large piece of transport will be built from Euston, uh, actually, and not just to Birmingham, but north of Birmingham, onto the London Hansen bit. Link, and then... We've heard that before, isn't no, it? What not, a surprise. Not, oh, not. look, we're going to Birmingham... build the London bit in full. I mean, if, well, no, imagine uh, if you're you in one of these... You could actually call it the Birmingham bit, or you could actually call it the bit that connects onto the West Coast Main Line, north of Birmingham, which is the Hansen okay, Link. Okay, so I'll those trains myself. will you're still go up. You're building a bit in the south. So Euston will, will remain the, 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 the starting point from a London perspective, Curzon Street for Birmingham, and then it will be connected onto the West Coast Main Line at Hansacre, taking HS2 trains to Manchester. But the key part is what it does for all the cities that weren't directly benefiting from HS2, and now they'll benefit from the recycling of uh, £20 billion pounds of the £36 billion. Everything that's safe in the north gets spent in the north, and all on transport. Everything that's saved in the Midlands, so almost £10 billion, goes on the Midlands. So that will connect about 40 different towns across the Midlands with the Midlands hub. So there is a huge amount for the wider part of the geography. So people watching this who don't live in Manchester will actually get some benefit from this, whereas maybe they wouldn't have done before. Um, I was delighted to see our old friend, the A1 Upgrade announcement, returning to yet another conference speech. I think it was David Cameron in 2014 that did it. But that's exactly the, pro the problem, right? I've been at lots of conference speeches where lots of things have been announced and just haven't happened. Why on earth should we trust it this time when we've heard it from you guys so many times in the past? So look, Sam, that's a fair challenge. And my job now is to actually sort of get down and be the project manager and make sure that on the rail side, all of these things do occur. But one of the big challenges for me and trying to plan the portfolio I've got is that when I think I can do something, so I've always wanted to do the Ely freight project. It's got a BCR of 4.6, brilliant for freight, but we hadn't got the money because HS2 just sucks the money out of the uh, department because we, we've seen it go over budget. So now I feel we can do these things because we've got we've gripped it in terms of that cost. We've said we can't afford it. We'll recycle it all.